Ben from RMB Reptiles, we got another great show for you guys today. We're moving over a bunch of our animals that are coming out of quarantine. There are a bunch of our new acquisitions, so you guys get to check them out and see what we bought this year. Stay tuned. We just want to take a quick moment and thank our Patreon people and our people that have bought us a coffee. Um, we are going to be drinking tea for me and coffee for Ryan. Um, we have to do a clip of that. We just haven't had time to sit down and do that. So uh, just real quick, thank you as the shout out for uh, this video for Nick Trione and Nick Betty Trion Morgan. And Betty Morgan. Betty Morgan bought us some coffee. Nick Trione is one of our new Patreon and members. Tyler Levin. And Tyler Levin. <laughs> you guys are the best. Tyler bought us five coffees. Um, if you are on our Patreon though, I am curious to know what kind of stuff you'd like to see on there. I'm trying to post some behind the scenes stuff of what I'm doing day to day managing the collection. All right, so thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. So we made a lot of great purchases this year, in our opinion, and uh, we want to show them off to you. We're moving uh, a group over from quarantine into the main collection. They've uh, passed the mustard. Is that a saying? I don't think so. Snuff the mustard. <laughs> Pass the smell test. That That's a saying. Yeah. Passed. Ryan's clearly cut. smelled all of these. And they've passed. They cut the cheese. So we're ready. Let's do it. So uh, first guy, and we have a whole bunch of uh, rodents in here right now because it's feeding day. So I'll probably gonna get hemmed up, but first thing we have here is a male candy, 100% head pied. Candy gene is really awesome. We really like the pure candy. Um, if you don't, if you're not familiar with the gene, if you mix candy with albino, you can make candinos or candy with toffees or toffinos. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Anyway, you can cross them in their allelic and they kind of look a little different, but the pure candies keep this awesome orangish yellow and these purples and we're just, we really like them. So Stoked. We, we got into the candy project this year. And that's our mail. Obviously, we're shooting for candy pie combos. Um, along with that, we picked up this pastel Enchi 100% head pied, 66% head candy. Very beautiful animal. Cool head stamp. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like an arrowhead. It's the making of a. Triton. Making of a Triton. Stamp. And uh, we also got one more of those. Doo, 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 doo. There's another one, same same combo, pastel enchi, het pied, 66% het candy. So I'm trying to cover our bases here on uh, making candy combos, uh, since they're not 100% het candy. And then, let's see, come over here, this is an interesting one, we've showed you this one before, she's ready to come out of quarantine. This is a black pastel chocolate trick female. Look at this crazy pattern, rich chocolatey colors, love it. That one passed the smell test. <laughs> Smells like Count Chocula. Which brings me to today's, uh, who's sponsoring this video? Today's sponsor is uh, brought Ch to you by Nib Nabisco. No, General Mills. General Mills and Nabisco. <laughs> Together, thank Together. you. Thank you for all your support. <laughs> thank you for your support, uh, Count Chocula. Um, this is a pastel mahogany het clown female. So, we're, she's in shed right now, but we're very excited to uh, do some mahogany clown combos. She's got good weight on her, so 
pretty soon she'll be in our rotation and we'll be moving her up to a bigger bin dirt um, let's do this girl we picked up we showed you her before she's also out of quarantine now this is a let me just double check <laughs> so blackhead cinnamon OD calico these peach highlights around the, the calico white are just very striking and the fact that it lifts the belly up over to the sides I really like very interesting I don't know if the camera is catching it in all its glory here but awesome animal Here we have an Enchi Mojave Hidden Gene Woma Het Clown female. This is just a very interesting looking animal to begin with. And being able to put it to different clown combos, it should make very interesting offspring. So this is a cool project. Uh, you know how much we love Hidden Gene Woma here. So we're excited to get that going. Are we excited, Ben? Super excited. Super excited. Let's see what else we have here. Here we have a pied female. That is also 66% head candy. It's kind of funny, she has this one little gray scale here. Just like the gray bordering on that. Just one little doot little beauty mark it's very pretty super bright which is some people that work with um, clown or sorry pod candy projects say that the brightness that you're seeing here which is isn't typical on a pied is uh, kind of telling that it might prove out but we don't know yet so it's 66 percent head candy Let's see, we have uh, this little girl. Just a little Mystic Potion female. Uh, we were producing these years ago and we kind of sold that project and moved on, but you know, kind of decided that was a mistake. So we uh, had an opportunity to pick one up from our buddy, uh, Matt Cleaver. So I jumped on it. Got a nice little female. Very pretty. And also have this female orange dream pied. Look at those sides. It's like I don't even know. Just calling it neon isn't the right thing, but it's just so bright and vibrant, the oranges. Almost look like uh, it's a piece of paper that's on fire and it's like eating away and going up. Really cool, and you know we have that uh, seven gene hep pied male that we got from Miguel, and we really wanted to make super OD pied combos sooner rather than later, so we had to pick this girl up. So maybe in uh, 18 months or so, we'll be able to do that. And the last two is a pair, very special pair, that we were able to pick up from one of our friends, Mr. John Danner, Danner Constrictors. Man, look at these. This is 1.1 pastel leopard spot nose yellow belly 100% het clown. 
just by themselves these things are awesome it almost has the speckling of a monsoon on the sides one of them wants to run away one of them wants to curl up into a ball both of them at the end of the tail it just starts to like break up and fade away really cool so we won't be putting these two together because coming up with ivories might work out, I don't know. Cause you know the leopard eats through the ivory and makes really cool stuff. But if you don't hit leopard on it, then you're gonna have a white snake and you're not gonna be totally sure about what's going on. But um, we'll definitely figure out what we're gonna do in the next couple of years with these guys. It's awesome. And yeah, that's it. Uh, we do have one more batch in the quarantine room that are all looking well and probably be ready to come out within the next couple weeks. I mean, really, we could probably bring them out now because we're confident that everything's fine with them. But, you know, you set up a system and you just got to follow it. So no point in having a system if you don't follow it. So there you go. That's uh, the latest additions. And uh, stay tuned for the next round and see you later. So I'm going to take a real quick minute here to showcase some of the mail that we got. I know that we uh, don't check our mail that much, but we're trying to check it more often lately. And we got three letters in, so let's open them up and see what they are. All right. Ooh, this one has a card in it. Okay, I like the stamp on that one. With as many st stickers and stuff that we send out, uh, I start to look at a lot more stamps because we've spent a lot of money in stamps lately. So this is a Santa Claus stamp. Pretty cool. All right. Hey, I know these guys. Balls and beards. Uh, Army reptiles. Thanks for all the great content you on your YouTube channel. Can't wait to see, or can't wait to get my prize from you guys. Because he thought he was gonna win the hook. He must have sent this before we did the drawing. That's funny. Um, <laughs> but we did send him some stickers. So, it's balls and beards. It's a snake with a beard underneath. I don't know, is that catching good? It's catching good. Awesome. So he sent us a few of them. Really cool sticker, we appreciate it. And we're gonna hang it up on our incubator. All right, and thank you again for the card. We have like a plethora of cards and extra stuff. Ryan's weird that I say the word plethora. Okay. We appreciate the personal touch. A lot of people we do. Um, okay. just send stickers, which is awesome, but the little notes are nice. I like it. They are nice. You should make notes. <laughs> I do sometimes. All right. <clears throat> so this one's from Sheehan Serpents. They are a magnet. Oh, a magnet. A magnet, which I'm going to stick up there right now. These Boop. guys are way cooler than mine. And two stickers. Nice. Hope you guys can see those there. She hand serpents. We like them. Um, it's funny because I actually messaged these guys and said, "Hey, are you guys reading this book?" Uh, Ryan and I just read this this book, and one of the main characters, his name is Sheehan, and so I thought that's where, maybe where they got the name from, but it's not. <laughs> it just happened to be named Sheehan. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, anyway. So she hand been. serpents. Thank you so much. We will be putting those up. And one more. Try to be quick about these. Boop. Let's see what we got here. It feels like stickers. A million dollars! Just gonna just stickers and Okay. And a personal note. Cold blood <laughs> I like these guys. So this one is a funny name, in my opinion. I, I really like it. Cold blooded scallywags. Tom Greer from Cold Blooded Scallywags. Thanks, man. Thanks for the swap. Hope you guys can enjoy the stickers. Cold-blooded crew. Woo -woo. I like the play on the uh, pirate theme there. I like it. That's, that's cool. Cold-blooded scallywags. Thank you so much. Our stickers went to you already. No? All right. <laughs> so we'll put those up. Thank you guys so much for sending us mail. And again, if you want to send us something, our PO box is listed down below. 
and we love interacting with you guys, so please feel free to shoot us a message or send us something weird, whatever. We're into it. Thanks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're into anything weird? <laughs> people send us? Why not? Sure. Whatever. Yeah, it seems to be a little crazy, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks once again so much, guys, for tuning in. I just want to make sure uh, to let you know a couple of things. One, tonight. One, tonight, we're going <laughs> to... That's fine. Tonight we're gonna be on a podcast. It's called Wine, Dine, and Storytime. So we're gonna put the link down in the description for you guys to tune into that. Uh, we'll take you on the trip a little bit, but most of it, you're gonna have to check out the their channel. Uh, also, at the end of this month, we're gonna be doing a international tour where we're going to Canada. And we're gonna check out uh, a couple of our friends over there. Uh, one of which is Mutation Creation and then KB Reptiles and also we're going to hit the uh, Reptile Show in Toronto. So stay tuned for that. It should be a fun trip and uh, if you see us there, say hi. Maybe we'll be able to bring some stickers or something along, hand out, but I don't know that look. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, thank you so much for watching. Also thank you for subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you like what you're watching and you haven't yet, please click the button. It helps us out a lot. Uh, leave a comment and let us know if there's any place we should go or see in Canada while we're there. Uh, we'd love to have your suggestions. We may have a little bit of extra time to make a couple more stops. So let us know and thanks for tuning in. We honestly Adding didn't stuff. think anybody was going to be a patron. So we just set it up. This is probably too much to talk about. It's way too much to talk about. <laughs> Let's like reel this one back Let's in. Really cut that one out. Okay, so we're breeding some skinks. And we're skinking it up. All Tonight right. we're going to be on a podcast uh, called Wine, Dine, and Storytime. I think I got that right. Guns are getting close to me. That almost happened. <laughs> uh, let me try that again. Oh.